are still getting this which we are not supposed to get so the reason we are doing this is because if this part didn't return any result so which means user data remained as the original profile there so now what we need is a provision to show that when a group is not found it's not like the profile because on profiles what we are doing is that if a profile is not found we display the current user's profile which was okay and good but here we cannot do that so if a profile is not found or a group is not found we should just tell the user that that group was definitely not found so here what we will do is uh, check login brings back the data for the current user so we'll have data for the current user in here but instead of assigning it to user data we're just going to add it to user directly so i will put this one right there and paste and then what i will do is i'll say instead of user data because user data is used throughout here so let me find it everywhere where it is used which is extensive i will change this to group data now this is just so it's easier to read when you come back another time that way you don't get confused as to what it is so here we'll say group data is equal to an empty array so let's set it to an empty array there that way if we don't actually find that group then group data will still be an empty array at this point okay so then let's come back here id is equal to group data collect posts okay so we cannot collect posts definitely if uh, things didn't work well so at this point here we will need uh, at this point we will need an, an if statement so we'll say copy here if now we can't use if is array because it's always going to be an array because we set it to an array at the top there so we're just going to say if count group data is greater than zero which means there's more than there's at least one item in there so i will do this and then put a closing one down there and then push that internally like that okay so let's see what other potential errors we will have so this one of course should change to group the title and then what potential errors are we going to have so we have our header which we will leave there because we do need that but if group data doesn't have the data that we want we want to put an if statement to not show any of this so i will put that one right here the if statement i want is exactly the if statement i put up in here so i will copy this like so and come down here right after the header because we do need the header here so i will say php like so and then i'll say if count uh, is greater than zero then full colon and close that tag mm -hmm. so we definitely need an end if here so let's go down to the very bottom here mm -hmm. let me see what that div what opening div that one is so definitely cover area blah 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 okay that is the correct place right there so i will end my if right here and if semicolon and then we are home and dry so let's see that in action so i'm not supposed to see any of this so refresh okay so we get uh, parameter must be an array or an object that implements countable so our problem starts on line 56 so let's go up here on line 56 and see why it is complaining mm -hmm. so it's our if statement of course 
count group data. So it's saying group data is not a countable thing. It's not an array, but why? So let's trace our steps back. Oh, okay. So this is where the problem is. Because at this point, when we return a no, like a zero, uh, because this can either return an array or it can return false. So at this point, group data changed to false. And because we didn't update it here, it just maintained that. So instead of saying group data, uh, we're just going to say, uh, let's abbreviate this. Let's just say G data like that. Just so we, um, we are not using group data. And then let's make sure that we do the same thing here like that. So this could be anything. You could use A uh, just like that because we know we're going to assign it to this anyway. So we won't be using that at all. So, but let's leave it there. It's more a little bit more descriptive and that should solve our problem. So let's refresh. So we see nothing, uh, which is uh, pretty good. But then it's saying parameter must be an array still. So where is, um, where is our problem here? So it's right here where it says G data uh, is array. So this is what happened here. <laughs> Very funny here because you see what's happening here is that G data uh, is no longer what we are looking for. So we're looking for group data, which is definitely an array because we did set it to an array. And then it ends up adding group data back to the array to the false that was returned. So all I need to do is just do that. That should solve the problem. So refresh one more time and there we go. Okay, so this is good, showing me that the this profile was definitely not found. But of course we need to give the user a large message so they can get it. Mm -hmm. So let's come down here right on the end if I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to put an else statement and put a full colon there. And then right here, let's put a very large nasty message saying that group was definitely not found. Okay, so let's add some styles a bit here. Styles, style. So if you look at this, uh, we come back here and refresh, you will see that group was not found, but this is not very uh, nice message at all. So let's do some editing. So for example, let's say background color. Where is background color? There we go. Let's put a gray and let's put uh, color as white. And then let's put uh, padding at 1M. And then let's put uh, text align center. And what else? Let's put a margin as well of 1M. We just want it uh, hanging somewhere in the middle, in the center. Okie doke. So let's see how that looks. Okay, much better that group was not found so you can put your custom message or custom page here custom content and so on so um you could put a link here that says uh, groups go to groups for example that could be a good idea so let me do that just now i think i'll drop this uh, down here a little bit so that the user can actually go to their groups and see what choices they actually have. So I'll put a tag here and go to groups like I so. Let's remove that. And so what will be the link? So the link here will be exactly the same as it is when we have our profile. Uh, where is this? Where is this? Let me go to profile.php uh, yes where are we 
there we go so let me find the part that says group uh -huh. so this is the link to groups right here so let's put this link to practice so there's root there and it ends on groups there okay very good so let me come back here to groups dude where was I grouped a PHP right here so this is the part that requires so let me move this inward a little bit and so I can deal with the the link by itself so root here we'll need to go into PHP tags like so so on profile and then this will need to be in PHP tags as well Now we're not going to use user data, of course, um, because at this point it means we didn't find anything. So our user ID is inside the session. So let's use this session, shall we? Uh, I keep forgetting what that, uh, this one right here. Thank you very much that's what we need here close oh that was correct and then slash groups uh -huh. that probably works fine let me close that okay all right so i think uh, that's looking pretty good let me put a break tag here. Uh -huh. Okay, so refresh, go to groups, maybe one more break tag. Yeah, so that group was not found, go to groups. And then we are here uh, where we can look at groups and I can click back on the group, change cover. Let's try one more time to change that cover and let's see where we are taken that group was not found all right so in the next video we're going to fix that redirect issue until we are able to uh, to create what we want here so i'll see you then